What's up guys? So right now we're in the mountains of Nevada. In the hills of Nevada, rolling mountains. We're chasing cow elk. We just got out here. We're only gonna have a day and a half to get it done. We got tonight and all day tomorrow to get it done because um, my brother Julian's deer tag, we spent so much time on that that I actually we went into hit my dad's cow elk season still chasing that deer. But all that hard work and effort paid off with Juju's big buck. If you guys haven't seen that, I think it's this side. If you guys want to check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. He got a nice buck and it's a pretty cool video. But seniors out here, I'm going to be the cameraman on this trip. Uh, he's got cow elk tag, like I said, muzzle loader. We're going to see if we can get it done. The bulls are rutting right now. They're bugling like crazy. So if we hear a bugle, go chase them down and most likely he'll have cows with them. But we're going to go ahead and get everything ready right now. Make sure the muzzle loader is all spick and span and ready to go. Then we're going to go look for some elk. So this is a day and a half later from Gigi's hunt. We went and dropped him off, drove four hours home, dropped him off, waited a night, and then we're back up here at a drive five hours back up north, and we're out here trying to get this elk. We actually have this evening hunt, and then tomorrow, so tomorrow morning, hunt's over. But I just, I wanted to spend all the time on, on Julian's hunt, because that hunt was a lot more important to him and to me, make sure he got his first deer, so it's actually the rut, so there. They're out here bugling, screaming like crazy. So if we can hear a big bull and he responds to our call, then hopefully we can just make our way to him and get one of the cows. So it shouldn't be too hard, we're hoping. <laughs> if we can kill tonight, that'd be crazy. That'd be like uh, my cow elk hunt a couple years ago. Well, we were only out, we literally were only in the hunting area for like an hour and we shot one like two hours in and then we're home that, that evening. Yeah, if you watch the cow elk hunt that my wife and I went, cause I had a tag last year, my wife and I went. I got one that very first evening that I pulled up and same thing, it was a rut, went up there, we shot it. Link will be in the description right here. Go ahead and go watch that one if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess some hunter was unlucky out here. <laughs> had an archery tag. Yeah, whoever's arrow this is, uh, we found it. <laughs> Here it is. Hopefully this is a lucky, a lucky, lucky bullet. bullet. It's going in there. You put the powders, right? Yeah. Sweet. Shoot straight. So that, we're shooting a hundred, yeah. yep, measured right. 300. We're huh. shooting 150 grains of powder with a 300 grain bullet. So, thing's pretty good. 150 oh, yards should be able to put them down pretty easily. So this is powder in, bullet in. But no primer, right? No primer in. Once we once we see them and we start stocking them, then I put a primer in. If you've never used the muzzle loader, this thing is inactive until you put a primer in. The primer is what, you know. Basically means it's loaded. Fire, boom. Yeah. Goes in, taps, blows up, explosion, your round shoots out. So these things are pretty cool. Black powder. It's a lot more difficult than a rifle. This is one step up from archery. I enjoy it because you have to get within. With this one, I would say you have to get within 150 yards. Under 100 is perfect. Um, I'm going to try to get within 100 because an elk is a, a very strong animal. And, and if you don't get within 100, you're probably gonna be chasing that thing. Yeah, it's agreed. A blood trail. Yeah. So like you was saying, this thing, pretty much 150 yards is, oh, pretty much 150 yards is about your max. So Juju, literally the luckiest guy on earth, managed to smack one 175. Literally the luckiest guy on earth. <laughs> but I don't know if I would take a shot that far on elk, cause they're three times as strong as a muley. That thing still had a clean pass through at 175 on that, that muley. Yep. All right. It's about time we're ready. Let's go find help. Let's go. I'm ready. All right, so we heard the first bugles of the trip. We're going to go ahead and try to get on them. Oh, yeah, we got to hurry because we only have two hours of daylight. Mm -hmm. We heard the first bugle. So we're going to bring the backpack or yeah. hike back to the truck? Bring the knives, backpack. I'm shooting the first thing I see. All right. <coughs>
we hiked up to this mountaintop. This is a second bugle. The first one didn't have cows. Second one, let's go see if this one. Man, that has to be one of my favorite hunts ever. We didn't manage to harvest a, a cow on that hunt. We did get close multiple times, but it just didn't work out. I mean, we signed up for a muzzleloader hunt. Uh, like we were talking about our, our muzzleloader in particular, we got about 150 yard uh, cap on our range, at least for uh, elk, because they're a lot bigger and a lot stronger than the mule deer is. 
and you know they, they got a lot it takes a lot more to put them down basically not gonna lie I mean I feel like sometimes I don't want to post videos where you know things don't go exactly as planned or we don't harvest something because I don't know I just I, I sometimes I don't like posting them uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed that video I think we got some amazing footage and also that was one of my first times out there when the bulls were bugling, the elk were bugling, and they're rutting pretty much, and that was my first time on a call. So I know I know some of you guys, some of you elk hunters out there, are gonna say that I wasn't that good on the bugle or on the cow calls, but hey, it was my first time ever. I was just out there practicing. We had an awesome time, um, and like we mentioned, we only had a day to fill the tag, but we did get close on a, the first group of elk as you guys saw with the really big bull. We got super close to, but when he spooked, he took all his cows with him, and we followed him for like a mile or so. Then we got another really big group of cows, and we got about 270 yards away from them, but they had us pinned down in a little group of bushes, and as you guys can see, it was really open stuff there, so there was nothing in between us for us to move in closer, and it got dark. It got dark on us, so we didn't manage to get one, and uh, the next day, actually, it turned into like a ghost town that morning. It was super slow. We heard the bulls bugling, but we couldn't locate the cows, and uh, sometimes it's just how it works. You know, I usually don't like posting videos where, you know, it doesn't go as planned or we don't end up successful. But, you know, this video turned out really cool. I just thought we got amazing footage. That's why I decided to share it with you guys. And go ahead and comment down below if you like that one. And if you'd like to see more, you know, it shows like the real side of hunting. It's not always a successful hunt and it's not always easy. So go ahead and comment down below if you'd like to see some more of that. But other than that, I really want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for all your support. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.